We've been working on a birthday card, a VR birthday card for my niece Lauren. Let's take a look at what we have so far. Well, we've got a scene. It's got a nice birthday cake in it. We can see it's rendering pretty well. Um, the trees are in here, two different kinds of trees, nice mountain background. But there's a few things I want to change. First of all, the lighting looks very strange. Certain things are shiny when they shouldn't be. The ground isn't quite the right color of green. The sky, of course, is blood red. Nobody wants that. This is a birthday card, not a Halloween card. So let's work on the lighting and change the sky. Let's go back to our code. First thing in init content, first thing we do is scene.background equals 3.color. So let's change the color to at least be something of a nice blue. How about 2288FF? Now let's change that more of a sky blue. Okay, now we have a nice sky blue. Let's look at the lighting. What we have by default is a standard light. This is a directional light. Now you might think, well, what's a non-standard light? Well, it turns out there's many kinds of light that we use in VR. First and simplest is called ambient light. All that does is make everything brighter. It doesn't matter where it is in the scene, where the sun is, nothing. It's just ambient light. It essentially simulates what it would be like for the light that bounces off of everything and hits everything else. And that will help uh, lighten up places that seem to be completely black, like under the tree. Not, in real life, nothing is completely black. There's always some color there. So let's add an ambient light. We will set the color of the light to be white and an intensity of 0 0.3. So we're just kind of brightening up the shadows a little bit. It's not going to completely overwhelm the scene. So we created a light, now we need to add it to the scene. And now we can see that those super dark places underneath the trees have now brightened up. We can see they are in fact green, not, not completely black. So the next thing we want is some directional light. Directional light means light that comes from a particular direction, as if that point was infinitely far away. You'd use directional light for generally lighting a scene to simulate a sun or moon or something that's very far away. Right now we have sunlight turned on and set to a position of 1, 1, 1. Instead, I want to move the sun to be mostly overhead. So change the x to 0, change the y to 10, and leave the z at 1, which means it will be directly overhead and just a teensy bit behind me. Now we can see the scene in general feels brighter and much more happy because we've got light coming on those mountains. They don't seem so dark and ominous. Now the third kind of light is a point light. A point light is light that comes from a particular source that you could see, like a light bulb. You can set the exact position. It goes in all directions and it falls off. So as things get further and further away, they'll have less light. So let's add a point light next to the thing that's the most important part, which is the cake. Create a point light. I'll also make this white. Though if I was doing a night scene, I might want to make it a color like red or blue. And let's set the intensity to one for now. Being a point light, it needs an actual position. So position set. We want it to be near the cake, zero, and cake is probably around negative five. So let's put it at negative three and see what it looks like. Now we can see it is a little bit brighter near the cake, but we might want to increase it just a tad more. So let's just increase the intensity of the light. I think the position is actually pretty good. And it's definitely got a nice glow around the cake now, which is great. Um, let's just move it a little bit closer because we can see here at the bottom, I'm getting some glare on the ground in front of me. Much better, but um, now the intensity is a little too bright, so let's reduce it a bit. So you can see putting light into a scene is very much an art. You try different things, you tweak it all the time to get the effect that you're looking for. Okay, I think that's pretty good. It kind of looks like the cake itself is putting off some light. So we've shown three different ways to use light. There is an ambient light, which is light that goes everywhere. There is directional light, which we use for representing something like the sun or moon, where it comes from infinitely far away. 
then there's a point light which goes in all directions but has a specific position and falls off. There is a fourth kind of light called a spotlight, which is similar to the point light, except it only goes in one direction. If I was doing a night scene, I might use something like a spotlight. But for this, those three kinds of light, directional, ambient, and point light, are exactly what I want. So I think we have a pretty good scene here. The problem is I can't actually move around in it. I need some way to move within the scene, some kind of navigation. So next time, we'll look at how we navigate in VR, what the different options are and build a simple teleportation system.